Here's my vacuum form machine I've been working on for a while. Uh, we pulled some forms in the, uh, the thin blue, pla blue, white plastic. I think it's PETG, I'm not sure. Uh, now is gonna be my first pull on some eighth inch ABS. Uh, we got our two foot platen in there. We got two car parts that's left and right of uh, some light buckets for my Celica. We've got uh, buttons down here. The red button is the E stop. Uh, the big red button. This one is E stop. This is supposed to have a, uh, I believe it's a red face. This is clears the E stop. This will select back and forth between two foot or four foot platen. Uh, this one turns the vacuum pump on and off. So I've got the vacuum pump running down here. So when I shut it off, that turns off, turn it back on. Uh, the blue light is um, process start. The yellow one over here is um, essentially an override for the vacuum solenoid down there. So it's controlled by the PLC that's inside there, uh, but the yellow button is just wired straight to it just in case there's something that messes up or a sensor that doesn't grab. That way I can force the vacuum on after it's melted. Uh, we've got, it's not heated yet, we've got eight coils up in here uh, at about, I don't remember what the kilowatt rating was, but it's 12 kilowatts total. Uh, we got, let's see, up here they're all wired individually so that they can be controlled individually. Um, let's go ahead and just give it a shot and we'll show you. Uh, these two red lights up here are supposed to flash when the heater's on, but I haven't yet completed that code, so it's not going to this time. Uh, but you got a beeper that will beep when I turn it on. So if I press the blue button, that's a cycle start. Now it'll start, you can't really see it from the light. Let's see, I wonder, oh there. Um, it flashes quickly, saying that it's already in a position. So I have to grab our arm up here, pull it down, and then push it back up. So it beeped. And now let's look and see. Yep. I'll show it heating up for a four foot platen and then I'll flip the switch and it'll go to a two foot platen. Uh, you can kind of see those starting to glow. Yep, there you can see them starting to glow red. Uh, in the video it looks like those coils are close to the metal in the back. They're not actually close, they're quite a ways away. So there's no worry there. Uh, so if I flip this over that way, that turns off the outer two coils and now it's only the inner four coils that are heating up for the four foot platen. Uh, I can see the ABS starting to go a little bit wavy already. So I'll walk around the machine while that's heating up. Um, we've got our blue vacuum search tank here that was just an old air compressor. Uh, that plug right there runs the vacuum pump that comes that's controlled by the PLC So that's on and off from the switch on the front Let's see I can hear it making creaking noises. I don't know if that's normal. I would assume so. I've never done this before um, It looks like it's bending up So we'll just have to wait for it to heat up enough to bend down But right now we're at about 25 inches of mercury in the vacuum. Um, I'm up at a, around 4,700 feet here in northern Utah, so I think that's about the max that I can pull here. Uh, let's see, starting to turn a little bit more wavy up there. We gotta wait until it's quite a bit softer. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? Let's see if I can show you the bottom of the platen. The, the vacuum hose goes up there to a welded fitting there's a welded fitting there on the bottom of the platen. Coming from this, I believe this is a one inch uh, air valve. Maybe it's one and a half inch. I'm not quite sure. I don't quite remember. Uh, over in here. We've got our PLC controls. You've got a breaker. The top one up here goes to the, uh, the vacuum pump. The other eight are your eight coils. You've got nine SSRs, solid state relays right here. Uh, four of them, the four center ones, are on right now. Um, and so if I flip it to the four foot platen, you can see them turning on and off there. Those are the outer coils. Then the top one there 
is the vacuum pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on. Uh, and then we've got just click PLCs down here, uh, power supply and your, your usual. You got a contactor there, that's what drops out when you push the uh, e-stop. All right, we're still waiting up there for that to get a little bit more saggy, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then we'll come back up once it's warm. All right, I think we're sagging enough here to give it a go. I'm hoping I can pull this handle down while I'm holding the phone, so if I drop you, I'm sorry. Um, we've got some sensors that are right here. There's two uh, sensors, so when I lower it, uh, let's see, this sensor right here will automatically pick it up and it'll automatically turn on the uh, solenoid, the, yeah, the vacuum solenoid. This one here is for when it's up and it'll automatically turn off all the uh, heater coils so I don't have to push any buttons or anything. All I have to do is just pull the handle down. So here it goes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> we were having troubles there. One of my clamps was hitting, but that's why I have the emergency button over here. So it looks that looks pretty good to me. I am I am quite impressed for being the first pull on uh, on ABS. That looks pretty good. I am very <laughs> I am very happy with this. Uh, I think what was happening was I had uh, one of these dumb little clips. Let's see, you can't really see it because you're looking into the sun. I think I had one of these clips right here instead of the clamps. I think I was hitting over here or something because when I forced it down, something flew off. But I think that's what it was, was this clip was hitting. But uh, this looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the vacuum pump now. Let's see. We only lost, well, six or seven. Well, probably eight because it's been sucking down. About eight inches of uh, vacuum on that one pull. That's a pretty good pull. I'm uh, pretty impressed with it. All right, I'm gonna pause you and then let it cool down. I'll bring the video back on once we pull it up. All right, let's have a pretty good mechanical lock on them. I was able to free one and I had started trimming it. Definitely should probably trim it while they're still warm. But uh, let's get you out here in the sun. But the part came out looking really good. Looks perfect to me. So. Let's hope this is the start of a lot of parts to come.